The Future Place project is a celebration of placemaking in five local authorities. It's a way of showing how collaboration, working with local people, can stimulate a vision for placemaking. We are listening to people's opinion about Great Yarmouth and what we're trying to do is tease out what the values that are most important to them are. It's really exciting to think about how we can harness nature to make us more resilient. Great Yarmouth for the future would be this amazing holistic entity that has a strong identity where nature really flourishes and, and thrives. Our project is really looking at how we can connect the existing town centre of Wellingborough with the new garden community that's just growing up on the other side of the valley. It's really about providing that creative flair and that expertise and looking at things differently through a multi-agency approach. So we've been looking at this particular road. We think that there's an awful lot of work we can do through landscape, through urban design, to try and integrate this area and make it a real important node to try and get more people to maybe walk and cycle. The big issue we have in Exeter at the moment is traffic congestion. And although the city is quite aspirational and is growing quite a lot, it's a relatively low density city centre. The opportunity really is to increase density of housing within the city centre and at the same time creating more opportunity for active travel. We need to address the quality of the environment which makes it more acceptable for high density developments. It's what we do with others that makes a great place. And so when you've got collaboration, it's where the magic happens. Our task is to do a strategy, a public consultation strategy, to get people's views about the future places of Bradford. This particular project is looking at how our whole community can own and shape the future of the city centre and see it as belonging to them. All quality places come from people's visions for places. That's what we're trying to do, establish a strategy to capture people's visions and particular emphasis on younger people. Only by bringing all of the experience, talent, creativity to bear in concert with the people of this place will you get the best results. Our ethos is people architecture. Health and well-being is something that's close to our heart to ensure that the people of Gateshead are heard and we're really keen to kind of use that as part of a central thread through all of this. Gateshead is a place where we want everybody to thrive. That means their health and well-being, their economic well-being, and creating places that will help people achieve that. There's a lot of fantastic things going on around the town centre itself. We're looking at how we can start to integrate that into the town centre. I'm really excited by the very diverse ways in which each project has elucidated a proposition which wasn't previously on the table. And I think that catalytic process um, is something from which we can all learn.